Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. NEPCO 2025 Physics Practicals Instruction is out. Now in this video, I'm going to lead you to the apparatus you are asked to provide and the most likely questions you might see based on the apparatus. So if this is your first time to you, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. With no further ado, let's get right into the video. Question 1. We are asked to provide meter room, knife edge, set of masses, thread, 100 gram mass covered and label N and adhesive. Now it means that this question is under moment of a force. And the moment of a force is a situation whereby this 100 gram mass they are going to label and call what N might be in this form. Okay? It means that we might vary it with a thread or might keep it constant and keep changing different masses because they said we should do what? we should get a set of masses so there's a possibility that we might have different masses here while we vary the mass we are going to label m okay and there's a possibility of us having there's a possibility of us varying different masses here okay why we we'll keep our 100 gram mass label m or we can still keep it here while we vary here so it can come in two different ways but what is important is this this is under the moment of force okay now look at this now this is our knife edge with this knife edge we can get the cg which is the first question they're going to ask you under this question one okay if you measure the cg in some questions cg might be kept constant throughout the experiment but in some questions cg can vary throughout the experiment so you must understand the concept the rest of them will be a walkover all right so you may be likely going to ask to measure this distance and this distance okay after which you plot a graph of v against what u or u against what v all right, so let's move to question two. Question two, we ask to provide converging lens or focal length, 15 centimeters, lens holder, screen, meter rule, and ray balls. So from what we ask to provide, they might ask us something to, relating to this question I have on the board, okay? Now look at it. This, um, this is a ray balls, okay? That has a bulb inside. Remember, a ray balls normally have illuminated object, which is like a broom. That are going to cross in front of what the ray balls okay now this is a lens and this is a lens holder and this is the screen where image is what formed so there's a possibility of us probably adjusting the, the object distance which is distance between the lens and the ray balls and for us to get what the image distance you understand and there's also a possibility for us to measure the size of the object which is a naught and also the size of the Im image which is what a in this context, you may be asked to calculate the magnification produced. I remember that magnification is equal to the image distance all over what? Object distance, which is also equal to what? The image height, height of image, let me say height of image divided by what? I'll say height of what? Object, okay? This can have as magnification. Do you understand? You may also ask to plot a graph of V against what you. That leads us to lens formula. This states that 1 over F is equal to 1 over U plus what? 1 over V, right? Now, making them the subject, if you ask to plot a graph of V against you, we can make it the subject. Do you understand? All right, so let's move to question 3. Question 3, we are asked to provide the following apparatus. Resistance bus, 2 ohm standard resistor, label X. Ammeter ranges from 0 to 2 amperes, 2, two volt accumulator, or 2 1.5 volt dry clean cell. Key, a key, a connecting wires, and a voltmeter ranges from 0 to 0. Point, and a voltmeter ranges from 0 to 2 volt. For what we are asked to provide on this question 3, I was able to come up with this. The question can come in this form, okay? Now, this is the standard resistor, label X. This is the cell, okay, or the accumulator. This is the ammeter. This is the voltmeter. This is the real start, and this is the key. All right? Now, looking at this table, looking at this diagram, this is just like Ohm's law. If you vary this um, resistance, if you vary the resistance, the resistance, but there will be a voltage drop, okay? What is going to reduce while current will do what? We increase. Do you understand? So, this is just like Ohm's law. Do we get it now? All right. If this video was able to help someone out there, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because we're going to run.
Two most likely persons are going to expect in this experiment. I'll see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.